Hey John, what's the best rate? Uh, it depends. Ugh, I hate that answer. I'm gonna share with you all the factors required before anyone can quote you a mortgage rate. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. And welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. As a mortgage broker, oftentimes the infamous what's your best rate comes up within the first five minutes of the meeting. And most of the time, I'll answer, it depends. I know you hate hearing this answer and you just want the rate, but Here's what I need to know before I can quote a rate. And I'm going to share all of them right now. First thing I need to know is your income. Do you have enough income to qualify? We all know that A-lenders like banks and mortgage companies offer the best rates, but that also means they're the most conservative. If you know you don't have sufficient income, we may need to consider B-lenders, which are about 2% higher than banks or even worse, private lenders that start at around 6%. The second thing I need to know is your down payment. Well, how much down payment do you actually have? Do you have less than 20%? If so, you'll actually be offered the lowest rates because your mortgage will be backed up by the Canadian government known as CMHC. However, you will need to pay an insurance premium which will range around 2% to 4% or maybe you have at least 20%. The rates will be slightly higher, but you'll still be better off because you won't need to pay any extra government fees. Number three will be the use of property. Are you buying to live in it or is it for rental? Lenders find rentals slightly riskier, so there's usually a rate premium on top of the normal rates. And how about the property value? Is it less than $1 million? If so, then there may be more competition resulting in lower rates if you qualify with a 25-year amortization. Your monthly payments will be higher, but rates are lower if you choose a 25-year amortization instead of a 30-year amortization. Now for your property, that also plays a part as well. Is it a condo? Is it a house? Is it just bare land or is it com a commercial property? Every lender has a different appetite on the type of property. Some lenders won't lend on bare land or a previous marijuana grow up. The type of property is important and may affect the number of lenders that may want to secure it. As you can see, these are all the things that goes through my mind when I am qualifying someone for a mortgage and then eventually placing them with the best lender with the best rate. That's why the answer should be depends unless if we have more information. There's a good chance that the quote the rate will be incorrect without the above information. And there you go. We just discussed all the factors required before a mortgage broker or a bank needs to know before quoting a mortgage rate. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure to click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.